Welcome everybody and may the 4th be with you. Today is May the 4th and I decided to do a long uh, postponed review. This is the Sales Show Collectibles 1 6 scale deluxe Darth Vader. Um, <coughs> well, I saw his review made by Op Optibotimus. I commented uh, with a stupid thing about uh, selling a kidney to get this uh, and actually I got this uh, without uh, selling my kidney. Sensual Collectibles uh, read my comment and decided to send me this uh, for free. So I must thank you both Optibotimus and Sensual Collectibles for uh, this uh, big dude. <coughs> well, uh, okay. I'm doing this because I said I would have done it. Uh, I'm not uh, quite confident I can man manage this. So, this is not better. It's a uh, a one six, six, uh, it's a one sixth scale uh, replica of him. Uh, okay, let's start with uh, the electronics because this, this dude has electronics on the base, uh, which is a n normal uh, stage show collectible base uh, with an adjustable uh, an adjustable cr cradle. Here we have uh, a switch uh, right uh, behind here. I don't know if, if you can see that. Well, with this switch uh, we can uh, light up the Imperial Insignia on the base. So let's get this back in place. back here never mind another <coughs> light up feature is the chest panel we have a, a switch right on the back if we pull it Lights up. These lights on the belt and the status uh, of the suit on the chest. Okay, let there be light again. Okay, let's talk about uh, accessories. So we have uh, You've already seen it, uh, a switched off lightsaber. It's a replica of the actual prop uh, used in the movie because of this uh, uh, peg. Because the lightsaber shouldn't have this. Here is the emitter for the blade. On the set, this was uh, the post where the staff. Uh, to make the blade was uh, attached. It's quite a good replica of the actual uh, lightsaber handle and has two little steel rings that can attach on a small metal uh, post here. It's quite hard to do it. And there. Then we have a, a light up a lightsaber. It's a, the exact same thing as the shut off one, but it doesn't have the, the post, it has a, the blade. It's a quite uh, bright blade. <coughs> and can be held in his open hand. Quite 
quite securely. Then we come to the hands. We have one open hand for the lightsaber. Then an open palm right hand. Come here. Another kind of uh, open hand. Hand. I think this is uh, like he used to block uh, Hans, uh, Hans Solo's uh, blaster on Cloud City. Then we have uh, a force choke hand. They're all on uh, a pin. Charge seat and can be switched simply by pulling out of the hand and putting in the new one. Then we have a pointing hand, like a vampire wants you, or you are a rebel spy, blah 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 blah, take her away. We have uh, a relaxed hand, and since this is a Seisho Collectibles direct, uh, let's say, purchase, and only to pay for uh, shipping and customs, and customs was uh, a hard hit, by the way. The figure was for free, so not going to complain. We have a severed right hand from Return of the Jedi, and we can see barely. Yep. Sorry, my camera is not uh, re really professional. <coughs> We can see a lot of painted details on the wires and other cybernetic stuff whatsoever. Then we have a closed fist. And these are all right hands. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven right hands and eight with a sideshow exclusive purchase. And uh, we have just three left hand hands. We have the closed fist, which is here. A relaxed palm, just like uh, the right one. And a holding one for his lightsaber. You know, it is uh, like. Uh, Going on a force choke. Well, I like this pose. Okay. Other uh, accessories are a naked head, which is a uh, Wonderful. I love all these details. And then another helmet and a mask. Also, here we can see a lot of details, even on the inside. And these are for this stand which has an LED right here. And that's just for displaying. Let's shut this off. Where is it? Yeah. 
because uh, these do not fit uh, the naked head. One can try, but uh, the mask will fit uh, here. Here is the uh, connects with the chips. I wouldn't advise to scratch the paint just to put this uh, on. And this side is on a ball, jo ball joint, so we can uh, remove the standard element head. Come on. Here we have the, the ball joint. And we can put this here. Yeah. It's quite hard. One thing I noticed about the helmet head it is here I don't know how to show with it. You have to trust me. Oh here. You see this bright spot? It's the nape of his head. I always thought this was a sealed up helmet, but apparently it is not. It is sealed only from the ears uh, to the face. Okay, coming to <coughs> the figure, we have uh, obviously his escape, uh, which is enormous. And it is well weighted on the. Uh, he has some weight on his base, so moving it, mo moving it around, keeps this, uh, let's say, in a pose. It can be removed, removing the head, and uh, freeing the chain from this uh, little uh, post, so we can. Just take this and take it away. <coughs> and here we have uh, the main body. So we see, we, we've seen uh, the head is on a ball joint here, and another on the neck. And there is some movement uh, even uh, on the post. These uh, shoulder plates are. Ooh, can I move it? On the uh, back row. So they can move it freely. And we have the standard uh, sideshow articulations. I'm not going too much into this. If you want uh, a good review, go and watch uh, Optibotibus one. This is just a and how much I had to do because uh, I got this uh, because of him. <coughs> so let's put this back on. Let's put this back on. mother language and so it's uh, fairly hard to do this review since I'm ad libbing this and I never reviewed uh, something this big <coughs> well uh, something else to say well I actually know if you want a good review of this, uh, 
I already said, go to Optibotvos 1. This is one uh, review I said to him, uh, I would have done just to thank him. And it took me like five months to get the guts to do it. So, let's finish this with a comparison. Here is a, a Beast Hunter figure, Green Wing, just to get a scale. <coughs> well, the other was uh, six feet tall. This is one sixth scale, so this is uh, a foot uh, of a figure. For Europeans, for Europeans like me, it was uh, two meters high. This is thirty, forty centimeters, something like that. Well, this is almost all, because like one month after I got this, uh, I found out. I did lose one of these uh, two silver pins. I don't know if it was because uh, there wasn't, or uh, I broke it trying to switch his head. Full of shame, I wrote to said show, and they were so kind that they sent me a replacement head. If uh, well, they sent me a replacement head, but they sent me it for free if I just smashed the first head. And, uh, okay, this is what what is left of the first head. And this is uh, Vader's head under the mask was uh, glued here, something something like uh, this, and uh, it pains me but I had to smash this, just for one silver pin, but, well, here is his new head, here is the old one. The battle damage one. So, I must thank uh, twice the uh, show for sending this figure for free and the head for free. And uh, as a Star Wars fan, uh, this is uh, a must have. Okay. <coughs> So I think uh, I've done all I could uh, on this video. I destroyed the grammar English, uh, well, the English grammar enough for today. And this is it. The Seishu Collectibles 1 6th scale. Thanks again, Optibatimus and sell show collectibles. Uh, logging off and uh, may the fourth be with you. Bye.